Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? I work for a new magazine called History and Culture. Curious. I've never heard of it. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Have we met somewhere before? Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kweknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Could you explain this other world? Oh, the world beyond our own. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force, permitting the oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. The oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the Executor. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit. But I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I've never seen before three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible! Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Kwegnitlan. The 
The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing this sacrifice. So, it is true. My God, the Codex was right. The Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here, and I'll tell you all about it. Thank you for your help, Professor. Professor! And the Codex speaks of the coming of a child, a prophet, the answer to all of life's questions. The Oracle kills to find the child. forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? The chroma. You have the chroma. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. The Chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. The Executor is always taken from the crowd. It's a great honor for you to be chosen to serve Kwetnitlan. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We will see each other again. In the other world. Gibin Dinakwendaune.
somehow. Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not, but it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious, very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Kane and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the Indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Kane is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. Not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. We should wait, Carla. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. The desk guy swore to us that he was in his room and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 369. Shut down today. All flights are canceled for an indeterminate period due to the massive cold wave, which has... Pick up, Marcus. Pick up. Hello, my son. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. St. Paul's Cathedral. 
cathedral. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what I say. Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it, now! Can you explain what's going on? Call the police, and don't come out until they get there. Lucas? 369. Here it is. Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Huh? There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. Wrong room number. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go.
officially the Officially. Officially. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral spinal activity. I think he's dreaming. Up, Marcus, it's time. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? 
Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't shoot, sir! We're just kids! We're the Kane boys! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately! You're crazy, Lucas! We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts! You do what you want, Marcus. I'm going back. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately! Don't move or I'll shoot! Further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him.
Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this... Marcus before going on. being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. It's all up to you, Lucas. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing now? Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing now? Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing now?
He is dead, my lords. Good. Very good. Now you must find the Indigo Child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The visions are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got her position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. To call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. You're here because you think I might have the answers to your questions. That's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. The oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. There have been other similar murders, haven't there? The Oracle has been waiting for the Indigo Child for over 2,000 years. But he didn't know when or where she would arrive. So he had to do periodic sacrifices in order to find her as soon as she was born. What about all of these dead people around you, Lucas? What happened to Tiffany and that old woman, Agatha? The Oracle wanted to eliminate me. I had become an inconvenience to him. He wanted to keep Agatha from talking and to use Tiffany to draw me into a trap. All of these deaths, he talks about them with no emotion, as if nothing mattered to him anymore. At your apartment? When we came to arrest you, the walls were covered with ritualistic symbols and articles about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The Oracle and the Orange Clan were behind all that. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the entire planet and there won't be a tomorrow. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. 
If he sees her, I'll see her. This is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. So, either you're crazy, or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. His hand. It's as cold as ice. Almost the entire country is now without water and electricity services. The army has been mobilized to help provide shelter and basic necessities, but the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. Scientists are still unable to fully explain the reason behind the cold wave which has now gripped the entire planet. Temperatures continue to fall everywhere in the world as authorities ponder. Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I'm solid ice from head to toe. Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably now or never. I get the feeling you're hiding something from me on this cane thing. Am I right? Yeah. You're right. I found him. But I think he's innocent. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get you involved, Tyler. You mad at me? Nah, of course not. Plus, with everything that's going on now, I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, as long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. 